We will stand up again. We will march again. We will preach again. We will organize again. We are black. We are white. We are Latino. We are Native American. We are Democrat. We are Republican. We are independent. We are people of faith. We are people not of faith. We are natives and immigrants. We are business leaders and workers and unemployed. We are doctors and the uninsured. We are gay. We are straight. We are students. We are parents. We are retirees. We are North Carolina. And we're here, and we ain't going nowhere. Um, good morning. My name is Alexandra Sirota. I'm the director at the Budget and Tax Center. We are a project of the North Carolina Justice Center. I am here today because the tax package passed last year puts North Carolina backwards, does not move our state forward. I want to talk about two particular things. First, the tax plan results in a loss of revenue. That means the state can no longer make the critical investments in a strong economic foundation. We're not able to invest in quality education for our children, in modernizing our infrastructure, and ensuring that the health and well being of North Carolinians is protected. Second, policymakers decided to give a tax cut that primarily benefits the wealthy and profitable corporations and asks more from those with the least amount of money. In particular, policymakers eliminated the state's earned income tax credit. The state's earned income tax credit provides a way for working families earning low wages to support and protect their families' opportunities. Um, I want to say that I have someone here today who's one of those 900,000 people. Um, Kara Davies, and she'll speak now. Thank you very much. All right. Give her a hand. Good morning. My name is Kara Davies. I'm the director at large for NC Women United, and I am a single working mother who has directly benefited from the EITC. In 2011, my son suffered a severe stroke at birth. Doctors told me he wouldn't be able to walk or talk, and in order to have a fighting chance, he needed to receive multiple therapies per week. I left my full-time job to care for my son. I waited tables in the evenings to make ends meet. But after a year, I realized that just as my son needed me to be his therapist and his advocate, he also needed me to gain economic stability. I'm back in the workforce full-time, but as a single mom with a special needs child, the salary is just not enough for us. For the past three years, I've counted on the EITC. Mm. It has helped me keep more of what I earn, to buy household goods, That's right. to pay for my son's medical care. It's helped me to save to buy a house. Yes. You know, all of these things have gone directly back into North Carolina's economy. Mm. Today, my son is thriving and developing on Target, and I just bought my first home. Mm. Hey. The EITC was one of the best policies that North Carolina could have invested in me, my son, and our community. And I urge legislators to restore the EITC this yeah. session yes. if they want to continue to see such success stories in our yeah. state. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. I want to show you again, James, where's James? I want you to keep showing to the media. Don't report this as left and right. It's about our moral center. It's about going deeper. I don't know what party she's a part of, don't care. Right. Doesn't matter. Right. Human being. Yep. Yes. Human being. Ronald Reagan supported earned income tax credit. Yes. This legislature is not mainstream Republicanism. We know mainstream. My granddaddy was mainstream. Teddy Roosevelt was mainstream. This is extremism at its core. And it's hurting all of us, regardless of our color, regardless of our gender, regardless of our faith, and regardless of our parties. And it needs to be repealed so we can restore confidence in our government. Yes. Thank you.